Maybe later. Not even later. I want to be real good. Yeah, okay, okay. That should be like really like up my lungs and stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna work on my little situations and stuff. That's all about it. But uh... reality TV sensation Crazy and Rock has hit rock bottom, landing in jail and triggering a chain of events that could change everything for her baby. Chrissy and JR. In a whirlwind of arrests, shocking accusations, and courtroom drama, CPS has swooped in, taking custody of her son amidst fears of neglect and irresponsibility. And just when you thought it couldn't get crazier, her tumultuous romance with Blueface adds more fuel to the fire. Is Chrissy and about to lose her parental rights forever? Stay tuned as we unravel the chaos, controversies, and untold secrets of this explosive saga. And that's all that matters. So, I don't give a you know what I'm saying? I really don't give two But the downward spiral of Chrissy and Rock began long before her latest courtroom drama. Known for her fiery personality and turbulent lifestyle, she was often at the center of controversy. But how did it all unravel to the point where her child, Chrissy and JR, was taken away by CPS? It ain't gonna get you views. It's not gonna get people watching. So yeah, talk about what's most wanted. Talk about what's most talked about. Me. Interestingly enough, Christian's legal troubles have been brewing for years, with multiple incidents piling up like a ticking time bomb. One of the earliest indicators of her mounting problems was an assault lawsuit filed by Irby Lashala. Lashala, a hairstylist, claimed that Christian had attacked her at a baddie's premiere party, causing not only physical harm but also emotional distress. The lawsuit demanded over $1 million in damages, adding a significant financial burden to Christian's already chaotic life. As the story unfolds, it becomes clear that Christian's impulsive actions often landed her in hot water. Another lawsuit emerged when Rama Montakabi, an Indian American actress, accused her of a brutal attack at the Bed Awards after party. Montakabi's detailed account painted a grim picture of Christian's temperament, alleging that she was assaulted without provocation. The Zeus Network, which aired Christian's reality show, was also dragged into the legal fray accused of negligence and failing to control their star. Hello, my name is Yamu Sussalam from Burnsville, Maryland, and seeing stuff like this pisses me off because it's like a case of a celebrity going crazy with their ego. Could it be that Christian's unchecked behavior was a ticking time bomb? The pattern of violent altercations and subsequent lawsuits certainly suggests so. Despite these mounting legal issues, Christian continued her reckless path, seemingly ignoring the consequences. Oh, all my warrants. My warrants are getting cleaned up. Um, I've been paying off fees and getting rid of shit, talking to certain people to help my uh, situation out. Her relationship with Blueface added another layer of complexity to her life. Both partners were embroiled in legal battles, with Blueface facing a hefty $13 million lawsuit over a shooting incident at a Las Vegas strip club. This tumultuous romance was marked by public spats and mutual arrests, further complicating Christian's already precarious situation. Krishan must have been shot um, because it seems she thought her legal... In a desperate bid to clean up her act, Christian announced on Instagram Live that she was addressing her outstanding warrants for the sake of her son. She spoke about paying off fees and resolving her legal issues, but her efforts seemed too little, too late. Her past caught up with her when she was arrested at a California courthouse while trying to support Blueface. This arrest led to the shocking scene of her baby being taken away by CPS, a moment that highlighted the gravity of her situation. One insider revealed, Christian's legal issues were like a snowball effect. She ignored the warnings and now it's all come crashing down. Indeed, her failure to address earlier problems led to a cascade of legal battles, culminating in her current predicament. Okay, so Krishan got arrested. Krishan Rock showed up to court Monday to support Blueface, but ended up being arrested on her own charges while she was there. How you go? The courtroom drama didn't end there. Christian faced extradition to Oklahoma to answer for substance-related charges dating back to 2022. Despite her claims of trying to reform for her son's sake, the legal system seemed relentless in holding her accountable. This leads us to the question, is it too late for Christian to turn her life around and regain custody of her child? In a dramatic courtroom twist, her plea for leniency was overshadowed by her violent past. The judge's decision to sentence her to jail time, coupled with the looming extradition, painted a bleak future for Christian. As she sat in the courtroom, the reality of her situation must have weighed heavily on her. What no one expected was the swift action taken by CPS to ensure Chrissy and JR dot safety, highlighting the seriousness of the allegations against her. What happened, Christine? I don't know this thing. I got a whole nother case. Call. Blueface's involvement added another layer of drama to the unfolding saga, with both parents now behind bars, the fate of Chrissy and JR hung in the balance. Family members argued over custody, 
with Blueface's father refusing to take on the responsibility. Amidst the chaos, Christian's friend Marsh stepped in, offering to care for the child temporarily. Uh, Marsh is a really, really loyal friend to her, and honestly, the baby is in good care with Marsh. Like I This decision, however, raised questions about the stability and future of Chrissy and JR Dot's upbringing. But why was Chrissy and JR taken away in the first place? Fans are theorizing that it all has to do with his health. As concerns about the child's well-being mount, it's clear that the situation is far more complex than initially thought. Could it be that Christian's alleged neglect and refusal to address her son's medical needs played a crucial role? As the story unfolds, the most alarming theory revolves around the possibility that Chrissy and JR might suffer from cry du chat syndrome, a rare genetic disorder characterized by a high-pitched, cat-like cry in infants. He's so cute. This condition is caused by a deletion on chromosome 5 and can lead to a myriad of physical and cognitive impairments. The symptoms include a small head, distinctive facial features, weak muscles, and delayed development, which often necessitate lifelong medical care and therapy. But, um... One insider revealed the baby's cry was unlike anything people had heard before. It was chilling, and immediately, there was speculation about cry du chat syndrome. If Chrissy and JR indeed has this condition, the parents' alleged delay in seeking medical intervention could have dire consequences. The Cleveland Clinic notes that early diagnosis and intervention are critical for managing the symptoms and improving the quality of life for children with this syndrome. Could Chrissy's failure to act swiftly be the reason her son was taken away? Interestingly enough, another layer of complexity is added with the possibility of an inguinal hernia, as mentioned by Blueface this condition, while common and typically treatable with surgery, can become dangerous if left untreated. Blueface's now deleted tweet, accusing Christian of delaying the surgery, raised many eyebrows and sparked outrage among their followers. Was Christian's alleged reluctance to approve the surgery indicative of a broader pattern of neglect? Like, being a single mother is one thing, like, you get overwhelmed and so much be, like, going on for in your head. This leads us to the question, could there be more underlying health issues with Chrissy and JR? Than initially suspected, rumors have also swirled about the possibility of FAS, a condition caused by exposure to intoxicants during pregnancy. Wow, when they were here last time, him and Krishan, Krishan was pregnant. Y'all were doing all that smoking and drinking here in the thing. Did you not know that she had a baby on the way that day? FAS can lead to a range of developmental issues, including facial abnormalities, learning disabilities, and behavioral problems. Despite Christian's vehement denial, social media users have been relentless, pointing to various physical traits observed in photos of the baby. During an Instagram Live session, Christian fiercely defended herself, stating, my baby is healthy. They would have told me if he had a syndrome. He's healthy, bro. Yet the speculation hasn't ceased. The sight of her son's apparent discomfort and the distinctive cry heard during her live session only fueled the fire. Could it be that the public is witnessing the heartbreaking symptoms of an untreated condition? All the drinking and smoking that was happening in the studio, it was like the next week, you yeah, know? She's an adult, she can make her own decisions. What no one expected was the public's intense scrutiny of Christian's every move as a mother. In another twist, Blueface accused her of being addicted to substances and implied that her substance abuse might be responsible for their son's health problems. Such a serious allegation, even if unverified, has undoubtedly contributed to the public's concern and CPS's decision to intervene. As Crisian and Blueface's tumultuous relationship continues to unravel, the focus remains on the well-being of their child. The repeated public spats, allegations of substance abuse, and accusations of neglect have created a perfect storm of controversy. Amidst this chaos, one can't help but wonder about the potential long-term impact on Chrissy and JR. She's pregnant today? I don't know nothing about Did that Did she girl. know she was pregnant? Nobody knows nothing about that girl. Okay, well, allegedly. This brings us to the heart of the matter. Is Christian Rock truly culpable for her child's health issues? If the rumors about cry du chat syndrome or fast hold any weight, it would imply a significant degree of negligence on her part. The implications of such neglect are severe, not only threatening her parental rights, but also putting her son's future at risk. What kind of future does a child with potential disabilities face if his primary caregiver is embroiled in legal troubles and unable to provide the necessary care? In a shocking twist, the court's decision to incarcerate Christian and the subsequent actions of CPS highlight the gravity of the situation. The drama surrounding Blueface's involvement only adds to the uncertainty. With both parents behind bars, the battle for custody becomes even more complicated, raising questions about the stability and future care of Christian JR. 
The whirlwind of events surrounding Krizian Rock has not only captivated the media, but also sparked a myriad of reactions from her fans and followers. One fan suggested if she follows the court orders of rehab and parenting classes they will undoubtedly order, she should be able to get her son back. However, not all fans are convinced that the state's intervention is the best course of action for Christian JR. A concerned comment reads, I'm not a Rockhead fan, but it's funny to think why I'll think that the state is better care for JR. People don't adopt special needs kids like that, and he will get mistreated just as much as bad. Might as well give him to a family friend because CPS is not a safe place for any child. This viewpoint underscores the skepticism many hold towards Child Protective Services CPS and the foster care system, especially regarding children with special needs. It echoes a fear that Chrissy and JR might face similar, if not worse, treatment under state care compared to being with someone familiar and trusted. As this dramatic saga continues to unfold, we can't help but wonder is Chrissy and Rock ultimately responsible for the health issues and challenges faced by her son Chrissy and JR. Do you think the state's intervention will provide a better future for the child, or is there a chance that staying with family friends would be a safer option? We want to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below and join the conversation. Until next time, stay tuned and stay curious.